Hello, everyone. Welcome to the training sessions. Passwords Octopus in three minutes. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through how to scrape drop-down menu. Now let's see how to deal with the drop-down menu. Drop-down menus contain a list of options, as you can see here on this page. If I click this and you'll see a list of app options to choose from. We need to choose the make and then choose one of the models. And then we can click find vehicles. Then it will show us a list of products. So how do we scrape this kind of page? We can click on the first drop down. And you got the option, loop through the options in the drop down menu. So we select it. And there will be a loop created in the workflow with a switch drop down inside it. This is how October switches drop down options. We can continue to select the second drop down option and choose loop options again. A new loop will be created. It will be created within the first loop item. If there are more drop downs, we can continue to repeat the steps of creating the loop item, and all the loops will be nested like this. If you want to choose specific options from the drop down menu, you can modify the X pass of the loop item here. For example, if I want to choose only the third option from this model, from this makes, and we, I can enter position equals three and apply it. Then after we refresh the step, you see only one option here is located. For more about how to use this function, you can check our tutorial later after this webinar. And what if you want to take the drop down menu as a field? Quite easy. We can just click on the drop down and then choose two extra text of the selected element. Okay, and then you can see the drop down menu value is added as a field. Now we can click the find the vehicle and then choose click button. A structured page will be shown now. Okay, that's all for how to manually create the workflow from scratch. Just remember that the basic logic of talking to the tips is, is that you select one element on the page and then follow the instructions shown here on the tips panel.